Sonic, the heart of your system. Alright guys, Dominic here for Kitgu and today it is RTX 2070 day. So in this video we are bringing you an unboxing of the MSI 2070 Armor OC. So as I start to take apart the box, just a quick recap of the core specs. The 2070 has 2,304 CUDA cores, which is down from 2,944 from the 2080. And it also has 36 RT cores and 288 tensor cores. Alongside that, we also have 8 gigabytes of GDR6 memory, which is again 14 gigabits per second. And now coming to the first thing in the box is this little MSI um, leaflet kind of envelope thing. In here, we would expect to find driver disk for everything. Okay, so looks like a few accessories in here. Um, this little quick start guide, driver disk, who actually uses those? Uh, what is this? Um, Lucky the Dragon Computer Workshop, some kind of PC building cartoon, I don't know. I'm not going to be reading that. And then we also have some little I guess they're coasters, I'm not too sure, MSI coasters, but you know, at least there's a few accessories in the box. And I actually did miss one, which is a thank you for buying, please register your card, little um, leaflet, I guess. And now coming to the card itself, this is all, I'm doing this all for the first time just with you guys, so you're seeing it all as uh, I'm seeing it as well. Um, I'll put this box on the floor as well. Okay, so card obviously, protective wrapping, still sealed. So this is the Armour OC. This one is clocked at 1740 megahertz, which is actually 30 megahertz faster than the Founders Edition 2070. Um, and there is a MSI Armour non-OC model, uh, which will have slightly lower clock speeds. So the first things to note, it's quite a big card. Um, I've got my um, my little tape measure here so we can do some measurements. It looks to be about 30 centimeters long. Let me check, I do have the official specs. So it does measure, yep, it's 309 millimeters by 155 millimeters by 50 millimeters. So it is, so it's a two and a half slot card and it's also very long. So definitely check this is gonna fit in your case. Um, of course, the obligatory little plastic removal, but I think that's the only piece of plastic we have. Um, so it feels like a nice card. It doesn't feel that heavy. It doesn't feel especially premium. It's got a bit of, bit of plastic on the um, plastic shroud around the edges. I believe this MSI section here is the RGB lighting, obviously MSI Mystic Light. And then on the front as well, we've got these two MSI. These are the Torx 2.0 fans. Why don't we do a quick measurement and see how big these are. They look like 85 or 90 millimeters in diameter. Um, yeah, it looks about 90, 95 millimeter fans. I'll double check that in case the spec sheet says anything different. So two 95 millimeter fans. We've also got a nice, nice brushed metal back plate as well with the MSI Dragon logo. Some of you might not like that. I personally think it looks quite cool. But overall, it's a very color neutral design. The, um, the previous armor cards have always been kind of black and white. This one seems to be more black than white. Although as I mentioned, it does have a back plate. The other previous MSI armor cards uh, we've seen in the past did not have back plates, so this is a good addition. Elsewhere, what have we got? We've got one six pin and one eight pin power plugs. And then in terms of the display, hang on, bear with me while I just remove all of the small connectors. Right, so it's the same as reference, three display ports, one HDMI, and then one USB-C, which is the virtual link port. So hopefully we'll be start seeing some virtual reality headsets, which can just use that for its only connector. Another thing you'll probably note, or maybe not note, as the case may be, is there's no NVLink connector or s thing or anything like that. That's because with this generation, we're only seeing NVLinks on the 2080 and 2080 Ti. So if you buy one 2070, you will not be able to buy another one in a year or two and then configure it in SLI for increased performance. That is just straight up 
not going to happen with the 2070 simply because there is no physical connector. Now in terms of pricing, we're obviously filming this video ahead of the launch so I've not actually been able to see the prices of this card on any online retailers for instance but MSI has told us it has an MSRP of £559. So that actually makes it £10 cheaper than Nvidia's Founders RTX 2070 which is 569 so considering this has a small overclock over the fans position it could well be worth a purchase considering it is slightly cheaper however as we know aftermarket rtx pricing is currently a bit all over the place we recently just saw the rtx 2080 strix from asus which is a whopping 999 so we are gonna have to wait and see what the actual aftermarket pricing is for the 2070 series once the cards actually hit stock for online e-tailers but for now guys, that is going to do it for this video. This has just been a quick unboxing of the MSI RTX 2070 Armor OC. Uh, you should now be able to see we have a full review of the MSI Gaming Z as well at the time of launch. So if you want to head over to that and give that a watch as well, please feel free. We'd also love you to leave a comment below. What do you think of the design? Would you be interested in picking up the Armor OC? Or do you still prefer the look of the Founders Edition, even if it is £10 more? Do let us know in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Also, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon. We've got lots more aftermarket RTX 20 cards coming. So make sure you subscribe for those. But until then, I'm Dominic Fukit Guru. I will see you in the next video.